All right. What's happening, everybody? Comedy Cellar Nightly is a little uh, podcast, video cast, vlog <coughs> series that we put together to kind of keep the Comedy Cellar uh, alive. The fans have someplace to go and hear what the comics are going through. Uh, and, you know, place where we can go and bust balls, be funny, talk about whatever we want to talk about. And uh, kind of get it out and to each other and to you, the fans of the Comedy Cell and the comedy community around the world. So we hope you guys are enjoying this. Anything you like to uh, see on here, more of, less of, me gone. Uh, you want a new host, please just let us know and we will take care of all that. Anyways, tonight we have uh, two of my favorite people, uh, truly. Uh, I don't, uh, of course, Joe List. Uh, the man, the truth, aka the truth, Joe List. Hi, Joe. Hi, Bob. Am I doing it right? Are you doing what right? <laughs> oh, all right. I don't know if you can hear me. I don't know. I don't know. This is my first Zoom experience. Mine too. Yeah, it is? I'm, a, I'm a Skype guy. I've been Google uh, G Google chats. I've been Google chatting. Yeah, I've done Google Hang. Is that the yeah. same thing? Yes, Google, Google Hang and, and some Skypes. Really? This is the first Zoom. This is your four, first Zoom. So you're popping your cherry on the Zoom. And yeah. after this is all over, my goal is I'm going to take screenshots of all my FaceTimes and then I'm going to make a giant collage. Oh, that's good. And that's you're wearing, Eliza, you're wearing a robe? I am. I did Tybo and then all these police showed up and I FaceTimed a friend. I didn't have time to shower. So I'm in a robe post Tybo. Uh, fucking Tybo. Is this the 80s? I love it. <laughs> It's so hard oh. to keep me active. He's positive and it's He's just- He's dead. Tybo, isn't he dead? Billy is not dead. I don't oh, he's think... alive? I don't think, it's not 80s. I think it's 90s, 2000s. I don't, Mike, can we bring up Billy? What's his name? Billy Bo. Billy Blanks. Billy Blanks. I think I, Billy- I watch, But it's funny to see his younger ones and then he gets fatter and meaner to the people and the moves, like you have to watch the early. Are you talking about me or are you talking about Billy Blanks? <laughs> no, you. Yeah, I, I'm curious about your keto during this time of crisis. Um, well, I stepped on the scale today, and I was very excited. It's the first time I saw a two in front of all the numbers wow. in three years. Congrats! So, I mean, it was literally by a half a pound. <laughs> if I put a sock on, I would have weighed three hundred. <laughs> <laughs> if I ate one chip i would have been fat again uh, but uh there he is <laughs> is that him that's not him it is yeah that's billy blanks but that's not him now that's him then i don't know i don't know yeah that's not him now that him now is uh, got to be as chubby as me so bobby <laughs> what what was your peak weight bobby what have you lost i mean i'm embarrassed to say but i will say if you want me to i mean i guess what i should have said is how no, much i'll did tell you, lose? you you ready I'll tell you, it was uh, around three, uh, three thirty-five. That's tremendous. Thirty-five um, pounds. You lost a, uh, you know, a child. Well, I would say <laughs> I lost three, uh, three babies to be three heavy babies. Big babies, um, yeah. Three big babies. <laughs> um, um, yeah. So this morning I stepped on the scale. It was two nine nine five or some shit like that. I hadn't seen a two, which look is still astronomically fat. I mean, I'm still, um, but to, to be able to, I remember not to usually thin. <laughs> Astronauts are very thin. You're right. You can't get, there's no, there's no fat. There's no fat. That's the only thing that they don't do. And I, when I, if I ever see a movie and there's a fat, a chubby astronaut, I'm like that, that they can't get through the tubes. Where have you seen a chubby astronaut though? I think they had a, there was some, I forget what movie it was. There was a chubby guy. Maybe he got fat in space. Maybe Armageddon. <laughs> yeah, there's no fat fighter pilots either. Oh, I just saw myself. I want to say this robe, it's like silk on the outside, soft, and then terry cloth on the inside. Mm, that makes me hard. Yeah, never have to use a towel <laughs> again. <laughs> I love that. That's great. So there's, anyway. uh, there's a picture on his Facebook of Billy Blanks. It's, it's current. Let's see it. I'm so nervous. Oh, I'd be nervous too. I bet like, he looks. I bet he looks like me. Um, oh, here we go. No, look at him. Fuck yeah, Billy. Fuck yeah. yeah. Hi, Billy. You look good, kid. 
I don't know why you need two watches, but you look good. <laughs> That's a little crazy, but no, he looks good. I should have known. It's yeah. a tough workout. It's a tough workout. It was tough back in the nineties. It was a tough workout. Yeah. I got really well, addicted to Soul Cycle when I moved to LA, and that was it's been I miss it. The well, but, in its place, but he, like a person like you, I would think that this is you're kind of in like it, it kind of embedded into it, kind of enjoying yeah. it. Everyone has told me I've trained my whole life for this. I do watch a lot of TV. I get high a lot alone. I haven't dated someone in a long time. So I'm more used to it, but I miss my friends. I miss doing stand up, but I'm sure I'm faring better than people that are like, I got to stay busy. Got to stay. I don't need to stay busy. Yeah. There's some comics that are embracing this as a time to, you know, like uh, Mike Babiglia is having comics on every day and they're doing workshops writing jokes. Uh, Gary did a bunch of things with him. And I think Nikki Glazer was on with him today. And, um, and then there's uh, this comics that are right, you know, Collins, of course, finishing his book. There's some guys that are really getting into this. I'm doing a bunch of stuff on my Patreon, but some people are like, yeah, I'm just going to fucking take a vacation right now. I'm going to chill out. Yeah. I am not. Which is totally fine. I think to treat this like a vacation to treat it like, okay, I'm going to work. From the soon as we get back, I'm going to work my ass off until next fucking March would be okay, I think. I also think this is just the beginning, like we talked about. So right now, maybe it's like, yeah, I'll watch RuPaul's Drag Race Survivor nonstop, give me anything. But in a few weeks, I'll probably be like, all right, maybe go out on the balcony, write some, you know, like I feel yeah. eventually I'll go nuts. Joe, you look like you built your own bunker. Where are you? It looks like he's I in a hospital. Yes. I have kind of a bunker thing. Um, I don't know if I, we talked about this. There's a below our apartment. They made a new apartment, but it's not a legal apartment because there's no kitchen and there's no proper windows. Like you can't, we have these little tiny window things. So my landlord was like, do you want it? Would you want that space for it's extra money? But it's not that much extra money. So Sarah and I have like two apartments now. So what do you put in this one? This one right now, like she has two guitars over there. Oh, there's a guitar over here and a carpet and some books. And then we're gonna, there's a, there's a little bed. There's another whole bedroom, it's insane. And there's a bed there. So we have like a guest, if we have a guest or a family- Not or whatever, during can... this time, hopefully no guests. No, no guests during this time. Um, but- why don't, you, why don't you Gomez it and Kelly it and make it a, 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 a podcast uh, network? Yeah, I don't want all these people at my house. True. That's a true. It's a good point. <laughs> um, a good but point. so anyways, yeah, I'm in the basement. Sarah's upstairs with the, the TV and all the goods. Well, that looks like a safe place. Nobody's getting through that window. I, if I had the coronavirus, I wouldn't be able to get through that window to give it to you. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's pretty it's pretty nice so far. I don't know. Yeah, it's, really, yeah, it's just nice to have separate spaces when yeah quarantined i know people in tiny west village apartments in a couple and it's like whew. i had therapy today thank god because i was i was starting to get paranoid i was starting to i had a, a box of tara chips delivered uh from amazon and uh the fucking post office i love america god bless the post office fucking stinks okay it just stinks he they said they dropped it off at six o'clock on saturday I'm look. I, I want these tarot chips. It's the only thing I can have, like a little snack, especially in the time of crisis. I can't eat. You know, there's only certain things I can eat being on this whole thirty thing, right? What's and, a tarot uh, chip? Is that like a, a tarot card? A tarot chip. It's like uh, the bag of. It's like beets and and and, and yams and, and and sweet potato chips, but they it's they're hell. They're not, they're not as bad as a chip chip. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's not a Dorito. You I, and, and they're all natural. When I was a counselor at Fat Camp in my early, when I was 20, I I, uh, they I would have more snacks for them. They would give them like low fat Doritos and Tang. And it's like, this is not, <laughs> so then they were hungry with no nutrition, just trying to fuck each other all the time. But yeah, they would have like bat, like low, <laughs> low cal chips, but that would be better than low fat Doritos. Yeah, these are tarot chips right there. Yeah. Yeah, the oh, best. Look nice. Oh, they're really, they're fucking fantastic. I mean, I can't get the blue ones. I can do the originals and the Mediterraneans, 
But uh, oh, they, they'll say they've saved my ass many a nights when I was going to get a pizza or something. And I just had those. But uh, so anyways, I go out. The box isn't there and it's not there on Sunday either. There's no somebody. So I'm like, so I look on the thing. It says left by mailbox, which is down my driveway. Who the fuck? Why would anybody leave anything by a mailbox? So I'm looking at my neighbors. I'm starting to get parent of them. I'm trying to figure out what neighbor would steal my fucking tarot chips. And I was about to go confront people. Like I was on the verge. From six feet away. I no, like I was going to go to people's house. Yeah, exactly. But like, excuse me. There was one neighbor that had a package dropped off at my house. And I was like, well, how they came here. Like you got our package. How did you know you got, we got your package unless you got my fucking tarot chips and must've said, oh, they must have our package, but you kept my fucking chips and got, I was about to go nuts. And I had therapy today. And we, I literally flipped out on them. I screamed. You, get chips, oh, you screamed at them. As soon as I came out of fucking therapy, the box was on my bench. They just never, it was right there. And I was like, ooh, my chips. And I was done. Had it been there the whole time? No, I'm not fucking, I'm not out of my mind. I didn't so you walk think they did take them and then they put them back? I think that, no, they never delivered them. They said they delivered on time because it was supposed to be on Saturday. They didn't do it. So they just said, fuck it, we did. And then they just come on Monday when they feel like it. What did so they don't, say? Yeah, well, I'm glad you got it out. I'm glad you got it out. Okay. You know, I told them today that I didn't like the Chinese government. I go, I really like Chinese people. I'm a big fan of Chinese people. I'm a big fan of the Asian culture. I like Colin Quinn said, I look like something you'd get on the way out of the Hong Kong airport at the gift <laughs> shop. Okay. Uh, I am a big fan. I am just not a fan of the Chinese government for handling this the way they did. You know what I mean? Yeah, I feel like they could have locked it down a little bit. And I immediately, well, our government, I go, I know, but can I just have this? Do I have to fucking trash? Our, I get it. Everybody stinks. Everybody sucks. And it sucks that we're all in you this. You guys watch um, The Great Hack on Netflix? I, I watch that uh, a lot when I'm at the cellar on weekends. <laughs> well, oh. oh, that's the name of my next album. Oh, it was about Cambridge I, I, Analytica. And they're like, this oh, yes. company that kind of swayed every election in our country in the world the, yeah. recently and we just have lunatic dictators made by this tech company it's just like batman villains have won and we're living yeah. in a nightmare but a cushier night I, I have to call my parents because they lived through chernobyl and i never asked them because they keep pretending I yeah i was born in 1987 in the ukraine so like they were I want to know how their life was then. Because I feel all my friends my age were just yelling at our parents to stay inside. And all of them want to skedaddle everywhere. And it's because I think they lived through worse shit. But Joe, where were you born? Odessa. Where? Yeah. Odessa. No, not you, Joe. Oh, Pittsburgh. I was I was born in Stoughton. Tough town, baby. <laughs> That's tough. Where, and you were born in where? Uh, where? How do you know what Stoughton is? Because I, 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 I'm from Massachusetts. Oh, I don't know why I thought Pennsylvania for a second. Um, I'm from Odessa, the fo former Soviet Union, present day Ukraine. Fucking crazy. I forget. I can always forget that about you. Yeah, I know. Your I'm, parents were in like a valley girl. <laughs> it's crazy. And, you, and your parents, your whole family, a lot of your family there? No, just like a distant. My mom's grandson is there and it's sad. Like there was like a lot of drama and she holds a lot of guilt with not bringing him to the States when she should have. Because I was actually planning a vacation to Chernobyl. Yeah. I swear to God. To take photos next to all the sites from the, the show? I'm, my friend Jack Vaughn is a, you know, he likes to do crazy fucking trips. And it was either that or Algiers. And I was like, well, what's the downside to Algiers? He said murder kidnap. <laughs> and I said, what's the downsides to Chernobyl? Radiation poisoning. I was like, all right, I'll take that. So Why not just go to Fiji? Like, I don't understand. Because he doesn't like to go to nice play. He likes to go like to go to, to, to say, and he wanted, we were bringing our family too. We were bringing Max and Dawn. And, you know, to say that we went to Chernobyl would have been, you know, cause you can go there and not, you know, get, be okay. You can be okay. They have tours and shit. Right. Yeah. My sister-in-law just went there. Yeah. And you can drive a tank for like 150 bucks or some shit. You could do that on the way to Vegas. You can drive a tank in Vegas. 
No, it's like a crushing thing. You like get in construction things. No, in Russia or where, where, wherever it is, you can literally fucking rent a tank with a gun on top. <laughs> Just shoot shit. Russia, you guys don't give a fuck. You're like, you got money, you get in tank. No, they're terrible people. All our relatives said. No. Yes, yes. Really? The culture is very like tragedy, work hard. Like they like to suffer in a weird way. They're hateful and they suffer. <laughs> I, I, the <laughs> and then you can like escape and like be a hippy dippy, but communism, Stalin, that shit fucks you up. Yeah. Yeah, fuck yeah. I forgot all about that about you. Now, you ever go back? You never go back. No, because my parents have no interest in now Ukraine. I mean, shit is, who knows when we'll ever go anywhere. That's not, I'm not into, I don't, I want to go to a beach. I want to go to Iceland. I want to go to the Seychelles. I have other dreams. I want to go to uh, Iceland too. I don't, I would go to Seychelles. I just don't know where that is. It's an island off the coast of Madagascar. And I only know about it from Ashley Graham's Instagram from a few years ago. And it looked incredible. Yes. And I, that's what so I need. I've never met a more Americanized little Russian princess. For sure. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's, it's, uh, it's fucking weird. It's weird because it's week one. We're all done. And no, I, this is week two. Is it week two? Well, yeah. you, I this saw on Instagram, one. you were running around doing spot, maybe week one for you. I've been locked down for a while. I had yeah, spots. Same. I was at the cellar a, a week ago. Yeah, I know. I saw <laughs> Somebody yeah, but, tweeted, I think it was Joel Kim Booster or somebody like that tweeted, you can tell how good of a person is by what day they think it is of the quarantine. <laughs> yeah, but I, I shut it down. I did what the governor no, said. No, you were on Instagram going, this is a hoax. I don't give a fuck. I'm doing I, You are fucked up. I never said it's a hoax. Did I? No, I didn't. <laughs> I never said it's a hoax. Who gives a shit? <laughs> no, I went, look, I was following the fucking lead, man. I mean, the seller had a mic for everybody, an old mic. You put it in an old bucket. Uh, they were spraying everything. They cut everything down to 50%. Everybody was spread out. The crowds were fucking amazing. I bet. Saturday night. They're, they're all at, dead now, but. <laughs> Saturday night at the cellar. I can't tell you the young people were fucking amazing. You a lot of times you do a show and the young people are kind of a fucking annoying and distracted easily. It they were so great. Everybody was so great Saturday night. They were just so yeah. happy to be out and and having entertainment. I was thinking those videos of the spring breakers being like, we plan this trip, who gives a fuck? And everyone's judging them. I'm trying to think if I was 21, what I would do. And I think I'd be a dumb bitch. If I think if I was 21, knowing who I was then, I would be partying. Look, as soon as Cuomo said, don't go out, I stopped going out. And I, you know what? I, I, I did what I was told to do. And probably that's stupid of me. I probably should have had foresight and just said, look, I'm not going out before then. I was just listening to my government. I think Cuomo is doing a great fucking job, by the way. Yeah, I love Cuomo. I really like Cuomo a lot. Here's I what like, I hope. What? I hope Biden is dead. And then the Democrats just go, let's just run Cuomo. Everyone seems to like him. And then he just trounces Trump. That would be, that would be, Cuomo would be great. I like him. No, a, I don't hate that. Having an Italian president, that'd be, I mean, that'd be iffy. He's going to bring a lot of his cousins. Because at least Cuomo can ha has that quality where people can be like, this guy tells it like it is right here. Yeah, we, can get, yeah. we can get some of those people. Dude, let me tell you something. He told us, do you hear the scenario about his grandfather? When he was a kid, he, we'd have to deal with that in every speech he gave. It reminds me of back in the day when my brother Michael, whatever his brother's, what's his brother, Chris? Chris, who's Chris ripped, Cohen, by the way. Shredded. And they, I like their little banter back and forth. Yeah, they're sweet. They're fun. They're nice guys. Yeah, it's not. if he was the president, I wouldn't mind. Because Biden's been missing. Do you know about Biden? He hasn't He's made a public appearance. Since, like, I mean, I have so many. Yeah, that's... Uh... Biden being president is going to be hilarious if he wins. Oh it's God. going to be hilarious because he's. I just hope everyone I hate gets the virus and dies. Is that bad? Like I, I thought, I thought of that too. Everyone was, in the government that I hate, I'm like, get it, get it, get it. Go swimming in that pool. Oh, I've been thinking of a lot more than government. I've been, oh, everyone that thinks it's a hoax and is hugging and partying, die. I don't give a fuck. Oh no, I thought people like who have passed me in my career. This, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> old fucking uh, representation. I've wanted them. Fuck. 
I'm, I'm, I, I want to hope this video is just somebody coughing on some of these people. Yeah. And then just seeing them with a <laughs> thing on their head, like those Italian respirators from, from, from the fifties, you know, when you get a personal respirator, just sitting straight up on the bed. I've, 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 I did that on therapy today. I was, I've been getting so mad that I've been wishing people harm and I have to get out of this. What, I have to. But are you just kidding? Are you really, there are specific people in your life that I, listen, are bad people. Of course, I don't, I don't want people to die. Because I do want people to die. All right, I do too. Same. I just wanted you to say it first. Okay, <laughs> yeah, yes, I want them dead. I want them dead. <laughs> I do want people to die. While you were talking, I did think of something, but it escaped me. Fuck. It's all right. Smoke some more weed. I love it when you're high. I will. I'm going to smoke a joint. I'm in LA, of course. Um, um, I was going to say, since both of you are married are you guys fucking a lot more now or no i can't hear you mike went out what'd you say are you fucking <laughs> a lot more? mike is this something mike work on oh it really did i thought you were being funny what's that mike i can't hear what'd you say mike oh, I, I, I thought I he was being funny. go ahead what'd you say again since you guys are married are you guys fucking... i can't hear you i can't i think it I is can't. a bit it is a bit listen to me <laughs> Those are the best bits. The one where people have to go, oh, I don't know if this is a bit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, <laughs> let me tell you something. I've been in quarantine for fucking two years. <laughs> My dick's been in quarantine in this house for a while. Okay. So no is your short answer. Yeah. And your short penis. Yeah, we, have, we haven't, I mean, we haven't had time though. The kid goes to bed late, then... Then you know where she's exhausted, and we wake up. I mean, it's it. There's no, no. Okay. There's no. There's no. She. I mean, we're yeah. like, do you want to shower? It's like, you know, you know. We're I was having, the other day. Having sex. You haven't sex. Yeah, but you 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 bang a lot, right? Uh, yeah, good amount. It's nice. Yeah, yeah. I I'm not. I I think I might though. I feel I feel better. You know, the other day I was like, can you please check my inner thigh? I might have a tick. That's always attractive. How, where did you go to get ticks? I have a backyard. I got a nice big backyard. Plus, oh, I, I remember what I was going to say. I have a, I dog. Did, a woman was really mean to me at Trader Joe's. And I did <laughs> call her a cunt. And I was like, I hope you get the fucking virus. And she went real polite. And I went, you started it. But you said, you hope you get the virus. I said, you're a fucking cunt. And I hope you get coronavirus. Wow. <laughs> So what did she do that made you call her cunt and said you hope she dies? I don't have a car here. So I was like running and putting stuff in an Uber and it was obviously annoying, but there was nothing I can do. And no one was honking. Everyone was kind of in the same vibe of like shit's fucked up. And she just walked by and was like, you're holding the lineup. And I went, well, why don't you help me? And she didn't say anything. And I was like, I'm obviously struggling here. Like, why don't you help me instead of bitching? No one, like, what are you doing? Yeah. He said something else I don't even remember. And I was just like, you're a fucking cunt. Like, what do you want from me? I don't know. I wish that, you know, can I say I that- want to hold up a line, but it's like, I know it. I see what's happening too, but I don't have a car and Joe, this can happen. That was Joe, a good we, argument. Joe, we just saw you cough, by the way. He has, he has corona. It's reflux. I have yeah. silent respiratory I, reflux. Well, that was a dry cough in your arm. So anyways, <laughs> yeah. He's got Bobby, it. I wonder how you would do on Survivor. And I think, I don't know. I would do great. I would do great on Survivor? Yeah. Oh, I'd do great. I'd befriend, I'd befriend the people I needed to befriend and I would fuck Yeah, but them. you couldn't befriend, you couldn't be too friendly or that's a threat. No, I would cut them off right when I needed to cut them off. What about in the challenges? Do you think you would hold the team back and they'd want to get rid of you or you'd be so fun and a good vote that they would? No, because- I could take, I could take this one, yes. <laughs> first of all joe nobody needs you to take anything second of all you'd be surprised in the challenges how i would uh, accomplish things you're right i've no, always bushcraft huh? yeah you're i get bush, bushcraft party boy yeah, yeah joe's a member of the bush original member of the uh, he's an og of bushcraft party boy well i don't know if you guys are saying that like i would know what that is well, me, Ari Shafir, and Joe List uh, formed a group called the Bushcraft Party Boys around two years ago, where we, as comedians and bushcrafters and party boys, we can we're able to go out into any uh, anywhere in the country, anywhere, and survive overnight, 
or for longer periods of time uh, without any uh, amenities, uh, water, uh, toilets, blah, blah, blah. We can just go out, set up camp and survive. We got to get you on Survivor. I think Ari would be voted off pretty quickly. Ari would vote. Yeah, he would definitely. He would, he would do it intentionally. Yeah, he would annoy people. And then some people would try to save him, but I think then he would make everyone just hate him so much. Yeah, he'd mind pissing on the fire, going, what? It's funny. <laughs> yeah, something like that, yeah. <laughs> Joe could win. Joe could definitely win. Um, yeah. I don't know. I haven't watched the show in a long time. I watched season two, but that was when I was in high school. That's how Dude, long that show's been on I the just air. watched season 37, and it was... was- oh so fucking good and mike white is in it mike white the snowboarder no that's sean white mike white he's like the actor writer he's like dorky he wrote enlightenment and school of rock and nacho libre oh yeah but he does great on but season 37 was like amazing yeah i think i I watched the show alone you ever see alone i've never heard of it alone is a fight they get they get 10 people in a certain desolate place like Vancouver Island in Canada that is just hard to be, just hard to live. And they drop them off. And whoever stays the longest, but they don't stays know anyone the when anyone else leaves. That's the trick, right? I think I've heard of this. You don't know when anyone else is leaving. No, you, you don't know when anybody's leaving. Yeah. The only way you know you won is when they pull up with your wife or your family. And it's you like cry? 87 days later, you lost all your body weight. It's fucking freezing. And you, you smell. And you, oh my God, they smell. It's fucking, and they're just like gaunt. And like all of a sudden they have to check them every month. You know what I mean? So medically. So they don't know if they're getting checked medically or what. And all of a sudden the wife comes up and he's like, I really did it. And he hasn't seen her in fucking a hundred days. And uh, they win, I think, five hundred thousand dollars, and okay. it's it, it is a life changing amount of money. For Did them. you guys watch the Netflix show Losers? No, but I know a lot of people. Um, I I was, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. a um, half hour episode of like, a sports losing, but it's not like oh, Bill Buckner, obvious ones. It's the Iditarod. It's a boxer. It's Serena Bonelli, the black ice skater that would backflip, and. One was this guy and it's this race in the Sahara desert for like days and he got lost and how no one could find him. And he thought he was going to die in the fucking desert. And they interview his wife and she's like that fucking selfish shithead. But it's an ama- It's pretty fucking, it's a good show. Losers. What Does about it- yeah. Tiger King? Is anybody watching Tiger King? I finished King? it. I stayed up till six in the morning and then I put on an episode of Survivor, but I stayed up all night and I finished it and it's insane. What? Oh, now- two episodes okay. in. Okay, now what is this? Did you guys watch Wild Wild Country? Yeah. The cult one, did you, Bobby? I haven't watched Tiger King or Wild Wild Country, neither one. Okay, so Joe, Wild 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 Country, you know like every episode you're like, wait, what? Wait, hold up. That's how this is, where it's already crazy and every episode you're like, mother, it just is so layered with lunatics and uh, yeah. And you- Insane. I mean, we've watched two episodes. My my jaw's on the floor. It's on, wild. On, on what? Tiger? Tiger King? It's like... Yeah. <laughs> what is it? Okay, so basically it's like all these people that love big cats and want to create big cat zoos, they're all in war with each other in wild ways, and they're all lunatics. They're all fucking teenagers. There might be a lot of murder. They're just <laughs> like, so, like lunatics that love big animals fucking teens and fighting with each other and making money off baby lions and lions and they're white trash lunatic. I mean, it is criminal. Um, And And it's a show on, it's a show on Netflix. It's like a docu-series. This is why, this This is why we have Corona. This is why why we have Corona, by the way. The, the, The planet is trying to shake these people. No, that's what it is. All the witches in my life are like, this is mother nature fucking old way of life over. Fuck all of you and the animals and world will thrive. Like (laughs) the witches are, they have another perspective. You know, witches. Yeah. I feel like I know a lot of witchy, witchy women. Yeah. Jesus. That's crazy. I think this, the good thing is this is the best thing. This is what the environment needs. This is like perfect environmentally. Planes are shut down. No one's driving. It's great. 
This is what we need. This is going to give well, they, us another 10 years. They and the that- old people will die. Like all these people who think it's a, they're going to fucking die and we're going to leave the old way behind. Like this kind of showed the fucking fucked up things of our world. And I hope we come out of this in a different way of humanity. Well, they say that Venice, the water's clean, there's fish again, uh, the smell's gone. People actually in China, the 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 smog, the pollution's gone. In a in a in a month, this is taking place. Yeah, my wife shaved her vagina. It's wild. It's crazy. Where did she put all the shavings? Right in my mouth. We're getting weird here, man. It's week three. No, I'm like so nervous. My gray hair is going to go. I haven't done my own toenails in 15 years. I've gotten a pedicure every three weeks since I was in high school. Like I am nervous for brows, hair, grays, for sure. Well, you brought up I'm something. I'm thinking about going mohawk. I'm going to go mohawk. You can't go mohawk. Don't go mohawk. Oh, mohawk. but I just wanted to say one thing about Tiger King. It's like Queen. Did you guys see Queen of Versailles? No. Yes. yes. It's I like, did see well, that. So that's what's cool. Like, you, the, I love when documentaries go to study one thing and then they're like, wait, what? And it turns into this real discovery. And that's what this is. Like, he went, he's, this guy spent five years of his life on this and it is bonkers. Joe, I, yeah, enjoy your journey. I'm excited. Yeah, we're going to watch two more tonight. Uh, gonna, Tickled is like that too. The movie Tickled. Did you see yes, that one? I that's sh- another one like that. I'm watching Gamora from Colin Quinn. Oh, Qu- Colin, tell me about that too. Gamora, uh, it's an Italian um, uh, TV series about the oh. Italian mob. The subtitles. That's and right. I actually, oh. I, I, I know, but I actually, it's-, it's I don't even good. see The Godfather or Goodfellas. I'm not going to jump into this. <laughs> it's, a, it's actually pretty good. I like it. It's, it's Italian uh, subtitles, but it's actually pretty good. Um, I'm going to get into Americans. That's one of my TV goals. I've never seen an episode of it. I haven't either. And I've never seen an episode of this. Get this. Um, What's that fucking popular show everybody loves? Seinfeld. Love is Blind. No, the other one. I mean, The Wire. Nope, the other one. Sopranos. Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad. I've never seen an episode of Breaking Bad. Oh, you should watch. That's what you and your wife should do. And maybe it'll get you to fuck. No, I don't know. Oh, wish we do meth too. <laughs> Maybe I should do that. It should- is objectively, I think it's the number one TV show ever made, not comedy wise. Like it is, it's like so good. Really? And I think it's objectively good. Like even like I think everyone's like a, in agreement that's just one of the best. I've never seen an episode. I think this is the time, dude. It is. It is. I you talking about it on your Patreon? I think people will like it. I I I this isn't my Patreon. No, I know. Oh, yes. So I should talk here. About I'm sorry. I'm old. I apologize. No, it's okay. I got a letter today from Les uh, McCurdy. Who is uh, that? Les McCurdy is the owner of McCurdy's Comedy Theater and Humor Institute. Uh, they is basically saying that they closed their business uh, on March 16th because of the CDC recommendation, uh, and they can never have lo- uh, no longer have uh, larger than 50 people in the club is unprecedented in 33 years of business, basically saying that all the small businesses, all the people that like us who are, uh, you know, we own our companies, we are employed by ourselves. We're going to lose, a lot of people are going to lose their livelihood over this by giving people a thousand dollars a month or each is going to do dick squat. Uh, it's not going to help anybody. What they should do is pause our bills, your mortgage, your rent, your electricity, your cable, your water, just stop it until you say, Hey, you can go back to work. You can open up and people can come back. You, they should pause uh, these payments. Yeah. So I agree. I agree. We just have nightmares in charge and it's like, we're going to have to fight hard. And I did see a tweet. The memes and the tweets have been saving this quarantine. Like people are so funny on the internet and I'm so grateful. And one of it's like, Oh, the time where we should riot in the streets, we can't even be in a fucking crowd. You know, (laughs) that is true. I could never riot though. I get tired after an hour. Yeah, but you could cheerlead. You could stand on a light post and just like, uh, I'm afraid of heights. I'm afraid of heights. I can't go into any of this stuff. I, I, and I can't make signs because I always misspell stuff. 
I would write your instead of yours. I would fuck things up, you know, and, and then people would make fun of me and, you know, I'd get hungry halfway through and they'd be like, what? We don't eat, you know? So. Um, I don't know if you saw, but flappers, I think they stopped, but they sent an email that they're, you can order carry out and a comedian will bring you the food and do a 40 minute set for you. How much? For under nine people. I mean, I didn't look, I can't. <laughs> If that's where stand-up comedy is going in the next year, well, I'm gonna have to deliver a fucking. Uh, it's not uh, safe to go a, into someone's house. A fucking happy meal and perform on somebody's fireplace mantle. I'm gonna <laughs> fucking shoot myself. So I'm what gonna do goes it, on I'm, the, Like so, you you're incorporated, Bob, right? Yes, I mean, like, yes. So we're we are small businesses. Do we get? Yeah. Are we going to get helped out or what? We are. We're going to get helped out, but they might just give you a thousand bucks, Joe, and tell you to go fuck yourself. Right. You know what I mean? And that's not going to cover your rent or your bills. It's not, I mean, it will cover food and maybe a couple bills, but I know. And, but here's the, here's the, here it is. People say, well, you guys live in New York city, LA, the middle of the country. It costs 600 bucks for rent and another 400 bucks for groceries is going to help out. I don't, I, I just, this is too grim. Can we like pump it up? Yeah, let's talk about fucking anal. It's like all I, yeah, it's like too scary. Yeah, no. Like, anal? No, I've never no done anal it. over here. No anal? I've never done no, it. My, my wife ain't down for the anal situation. My wife, my wife neither. I, no. I you know, but well, it's I, your butthole, you know. I, I used to like it back in the day. I was a big anal guy. I bet you're a guy who would own a big cat. <laughs> What's a cat? <laughs> like a tiger <laughs> tiger i gotta see this show now because i don't know what that dude means. <laughs> you gotta watch it I, it's better than breaking bad i never watched breaking bad but i'm two episodes into this this is better. this is bonkers and uh, yeah bonkers crazy the I, opening, I, uh, I, I don't want to give anything away but the opening fucking shot i was howling when the old there's like a journalist and he goes let's start at the beginning the beginning is crazy and then it just cuts to like uh, you see water and then a guy pops up out of the water with a tiger over his head. He's holding a tiger with both arms. <laughs> and then the next shot is a guy driving down the highway with a lion in his back seat of his convertible. That's the opening four seconds. <laughs> it's crazier after that. Yeah. Right, I'm, gonna, I'm watching it tonight. Fuck the Mora. Once you guys finish it, I think we should do this again and talk about Tiger King. You know what that is too. It's in Tampa, right? Right across the street from the mall. It's all over. There's like one in Oklahoma, one in T Tampa. Tampa one yeah. In, the yeah, one in then... Tampa is literally across the street from the mall. Mike Calter was saying tonight that when you go to the mall, you can hear the tigers every once in a while just start screaming and fucking roaring. How yeah, the sad fact is there's more tigers in captivity in America, I learned, than in the wild. Right. Yeah, because don't they kill them over there? I mean, they're, I don't, I can't comment. Well, this guy, I mean, I don't want, we, we, you have to watch it, but this yeah, guy is breeding them just to sell them. So he has like tons of baby cats everywhere. <laughs> where does he, where do you sell a fucking a lion? Shaq People bought two. Them. What? Shaq bought two. But what is, where does he put them? Shaq probably has a big backyard. God, yeah, you have to, because I remember Mike Tyson had a, a fucking tiger, but then he lost his money and that fucking poor tiger was like homeless too. It was like, you know, it was just sad. Yeah. That must be a sad People life. Disrespectful people. Like, I don't know. I want to find someone that's like a good person just, that own, like, yeah. I don't think anyone that owns tigers are good people. Yeah, like Mike no. Tyson's Shaq tiger. I believe in Shaq. Mike Tyson's tiger was probably like treating other tigers like shit. Like, yeah, man, whatever, man. Nah, you can't come over. Yeah, Yo, man, just treating other animals like garbage. And then Mike lost all his money. <laughs> What's that? I hate this act out, please. <laughs> and then, and then, and it was like, they were like, who's a bitch now, motherfucker? The peacocks were like, yo, motherfucker, I just got bought by, bought by Shaq. Where you going, bitch? I love flamingos. Do you guys like flamingos? Oh my God. <laughs> it's so crazy. He got a fucking tiger to match his suit. I, yeah. Yeah. What a beautiful little animal, huh? They're gorgeous. Yeah, they're gorgeous. But that must fucking, that's like having me at your house. 
Well, yeah, must, you learn well, a lot from this doc. This must, it must cost a lot of money to have that fucking thing. Yeah, I think the one guy said he spends three thousand dollars a day on what the fuck? On, on meal on on meat. That's crazy. You know, you must be a multimillionaire to own a tiger. Yeah. Yeah. How do these fucking how do these people who don't have money get the money for tigers? How much you does a tiger cost? Not, what, I you are gonna enjoy this journey. You will be you're gonna go on. I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna check it out tonight. I'm and I think finish. everyone that is watching this, you all watch it, and then we should do this when you finish. Yeah, I'm down. That's I got nothing to do. I have nothing. I mean, this is like a blessing. When I got the text for this, I was like, yes, I will. This is amazing. And then at seven, me and my girlfriends were getting together and we're watching First Wives Club and we have a drinking game and we're going to watch it together. I wish I did stuff like that with my friends. Yeah, we've been watching like Housewives together and doing like chats. My friends, we don't we don't do stuff like that, do we, Joe? Um, no, but we could. I mean, now we got no excuse. I mean, how bad does it hurt now when you call someone and they don't answer? <laughs> You're just like, oh shit. Yeah. Like you gotta now there's no excuse for anything. But don't I'm finding this a little bit liberating to have nothing to like time and days don't even matter now. It's yeah. nice. If you have the money to last a few months, your this should be you could use this in a very productive and uh, positive way. Uh, you should anyways. Um, but if, if you're living check to check, and this could be a little daunting for you, I think, at the end of this, to be like, how am I going to get out of this? You know what I mean? How long can I do this? Well, it's on unple- Watching gigs just keep getting canceled is really yeah. uh, dizzying. It's dizzying, but it's not only canceled, Joe. When we come back, it's going to be like, how many people are going to be there? Like, I right. finally, this year I did a, a theater tour. I made bonuses all fucking <laughs> holiday, like all from January, February. You know, you get a, you know, guys, when you get that bonus check, when you hit your bonus and you get that. Life, big, but I'm young. Yeah, you'll, you'll, of course, you'll get that. Of course. So. Of course. But when you get that check and it's like yeah, cool. five times the amount of money, what you were supposed to get paid. And you just, you feel like you, I, I've left like, like they're gonna oh we made a mistake can we have that one back you feel great and then right and then i'm s- also scared like i get weekends but i'm not really like a set like i don't sell tickets and so i think anyone that's even booked for anything are gonna get canceled if you're not gonna be like a big seller too i'm worried yeah, about I, yeah i'm worried yeah. about that too i'm worried about the clubs the clubs man but well, I think we're all going to fucking pull through it, man. That's the thing. It's like um, when I'm scared, I real everyone's in this position. Everyone. Yeah, I think I might grow my hair out. Or people are working. I mean, working from home, like those are lucky people. But like the people working out in the wild, that sucks. What do you mean working out in the wild? Like in the stores, delivering shit, like putting. <laughs> you're such a fucking pothead. And so <laughs> you're, 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 let me tell you something. It's so funny what a pothead you are in the wild. In the wild, you call <laughs> people that people at the mall or and that's the wild. Yeah, I mean, my dumb bitch sister-in-law was out at the outlet mall shopping with her kids. She lives with her 80-year-old mother. It's like I just yell at my parents, do not let her in. I don't care if it's like bird box, she's trying to get in. She is not allowed. Yeah. If she's out outlet mall shopping, she's done. I am so stocked up in food and meat. It's ridiculous. I don't cook. This has taught me when we get out of this, I'm going to start buying spices, ingredients, cooking. How are you eating? I'm like frozen, ready things and like snacks. How about you, Joey? Uh, similar. We went to the grocery store and I bought some frozen like chicken nugget things. It's like a, from a healthy grocery store or whatever. So they're like organic bullshit. But... I cooked them one and I have like OCD obsessive. So now I've just eaten nothing but these like organic chicken nuggets every day. And then I have a bagel with peanut butter every morning and I make a smoothie and eggs. I know how to make scrambled eggs. So a lot of eggs. I didn't fucking get eggs. It's like the dumbest mistake of my life. Yeah, a lot of egg and cheese, a bagel and a nice smoothie and a lot of chicken nugget things that you throw in the oven. Yeah. I, 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 I'm, I'm fucking shocked at how many Facebook cooking shows there are now 
where just everybody and their mother is doing a TV show. I mean, everybody is on Facebook. Everybody's on Instagram doing some sort of live show. Yeah, we're going nuts. We're not happy. We're like, this but not is- just us. No, this is I, a- no, average fucking people, oh. our talent are becoming uh, are doing like, I, I mean, look on Facebook. Everybody, every mother has a cooking show. I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad thing or a good thing, but it's it's kind of fucking weird. You know, I, no, you want to get twisted. I know someone who they don't need they're not the other spouse has the kids but they posted a schedule that was like, this is what I'm doing with the kids. And it was like a timed out schedule of what sh- this person was going to do with their kids who weren't with her. Yeah. Like so bonkers. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Me and Max have been doing science stuff. Well, you're always building shit and science things. You're really, you're out there. Yeah. But it's been hard, I'm man. Doodles. You don't doodles. post enough about doodles. Uh, Doodles is gone. What happened? I'm, ki- I'm kidding. She's in the other room. Um, I was just fucking with you. Hi. Um, <laughs> I po- <laughs> there's, there's been other things than posting about the dog lately. You know what I mean? I've been getting. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I've been. Uh, I got to definitely post more of Doodles, but I got shit for Doodles. People give me shit for posting doodles. Only what girls, only girls like fucking put doodles posts. Why are we not valuable enough? Who is shitting on doodle? Who doesn't want to look at a cute dog? I don't. I say, I say the same thing. Right now, you need a cute dog like doodles. Yes, right? doodles. Yes, doodles is the best name. I like love that name. I wanted to name her dude, but my wife wouldn't let me name her dude, so it was doodles. And she loves it. She said, yeah, I love doodles. I can do doodles. Well, it's also, did your kid ever watch the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse or whatever? No. Oh, that. There's H- two- Henry Danger. Henry Danger. I don't know him. Um, look him up. He's very sexy. Very <laughs> sexy young boy. Him and uh, Captain Man. One of the funniest little shows ever. I actually like it. Me and my wife laugh at it. Anyways, we got to wrap this up. Um, are you going to do this again? I you? want to so bad. I'm like so desperate for this. <laughs> oh, cool. all right. Well, we'll have you back on. We're going to be doing this. Uh, we were supposed to do it live from the VU and then have guests on the TV. And I would go down to the VU and no. we'd do like a TV show. What do you mean? No. Stay in your house. This is lovely. You look, there he is right there. Henry Danger. Okay. This is not what I expected. <laughs> nice. Yeah, well, which uh, one? Do you, which one, Joe? I like the one in the middle and the two top, and then the bald guy. I like them all, really. <laughs> you know, the bald guy is actually tra- the bald guy is actually transgendered. I swear to God. <laughs> okay. No, I swear to God, it transgendered. She's uh, she's well, he uh, is now a he. So, Canadian actress that turned uh, to a male, and now it's, it's Schwaz, very one of my favorite a- actors on the show. Didn't even know it. There you go. Some fun facts about Henry Danger. Um, all right, listen, Joe, what do you got, man? What's going on with you? Joe, are you, what do you, come on. What do I got? I got nothing. Well, I got, You're for I us. got uh, Mindful Metal Jacket, my network, uh, which is now needed more than ever. Mindful Metal Jacket is one of the most Can you pop- hear me? I don't know what happened. Yeah, we, we got you. you. Frozen. One of the most popular shows on the network that just popped out this year. Um, so yeah, very excited to have that. It's a, it's a great show. It's different than, I I would say it's a little different than what you usually do. Joe. Um, I'd like to say I'm trying to get cameos. So if you want a cameo for me, that's what I'm, that's my income for that guy from cameo keeps emailing me. Should I join it? Why not? I mean, I've only gotten three requests, so I've gotten like $37, but like, whatever. I don't know. I don't have anything else to do. And if someone would want to send a message of me to someone, I don't like, please. How much is your cameo? $15. I might have you promote my Patreon. What do you mean? I think, I think it's like, I will, I will pay you on your cameo. I I had a Patreon. So get one. (sighs) I don't know. Anyways. We'll get one. Hopefully get one next time. Yeah, maybe one day. But All right, we're going to be here for every night. We're going to try to come here and do this show. Also, 
badass that you're sticking to your diet through this wild time. It's, it's, All the rules much. have gone out the window. I'm fistfuling M and M's, so that's very cool. Yeah, it's it's been tough to be honest because I really do want to eat a pizza, and my I want pasta. I, I've been craving it like a drug, but I've I've I did good today. I'm doing it one day at a time. Yeah, because uh, you know I have to. So, anyways, listen. I will uh, talk to you again. We'll have you back on again soon. Joe, we don't know what happened with Joe. I think that's his like penis. His there he is. What is up with him? Are you back, Joe? I, I don't, yeah, I'm in and out here. All right, he can't hear. All right, listen, we'll talk I, to you guys I next time. I didn't even move or anything. All right, what it's all mean? fucked up. We're going to go anyways. Listen, this has been uh, the Seller Nightly, Comedy Seller Nightly, here where we're going to be bringing comics on every night and just talking about uh, whatever, comedy, what's going on, uh, things in our lives, uh, and maybe TV shows to watch. One we learned tonight, Tiger, what is it? Tiger King. Tiger King on Netflix. You should all go watch that tonight. I'm going to go watch it, and maybe next time you guys are back. They're all, all, everyone that made that documentary right now is like, fuck yeah, pandemic. We're all hooked. (laughs) All right, we'll see you guys next time on Comedy Selling Night. Take it easy. Mike, let's go, baby. (laughs) 